Hey friends, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and welcome back to my channel. Today we're exploring four different crochet seaming techniques that are perfect for beginners. Specifically, we're diving into the whip stitch seam, mattress stitch seam, single crochet seam, and the flat slip stitch seam. If you're excited to learn something new, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get to it. For the whip stitch seam, measure a length of yarn that is three times the length of your seam. Here's one, here's two, and here's three. Then cut that length of yarn and thread it onto a tapestry needle. Next, bring the fronts of your pieces together and line up the edges. Starting at the corner, insert your needle from bottom to top through both corner stitches. Bring the yarn up and over the top of the work to reset. Insert the needle through both loops of both of the next two stitches and pull. Repeat this down the length of the seam. Now don't pull too tightly when tightening your stitches. Too tight and the seam will bunch too loose and the seam won't be secure. Just pull until you feel resistance and then move on to the next step in your seam. Next is the mattress stitch seam. Begin with a length of yarn that is three times the length of the seam and thread it onto a tapestry needle. Lay your crochet with the right sides facing up in the seams next to each other. Thread the needle through the stitch at the bottom corner of the first square. Do the same for the bottom stitch at the corner of the second square. Insert the needle from front to back through the same stitch on the first square, then from back to front through the next stitch. Do the same for the second square. Repeat this up the length of the seam, going back into the same stitch as before, and then up through the next stitch on the seam. And then go back to the second square in the same stitch and up the next stitch. After you've repeated this a few times, you can hold both lengths of yarn and pull firmly to close the seam. Then thread the yarn back onto the tapestry needle and continue with your mattress stitch seam. You can also create seams with your crochet hook. Use the same size crochet hook that you use for your squares for both of these seaming techniques. For the single crochet seam, bring the right sides of your squares together, make a slip knot, and place it on your hook. We're going to join with a standing single crochet in the corner of our squares. Insert your hook in both of the corner stitches Yarn over and pull up a loop in those stitches. 
Then yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into both loops of the next two stitches. And complete a single crochet. And do the same for each stitch down the seam. Be sure that you don't work these single crochet stitches too tightly. The single crochet seam already creates a pretty sturdy seam and you don't want your work to pucker. The single crochet seam can be worked in both loops of your stitches or in just the outside loops for a different look. Here at the top, you can see what it looks like when I work through both loops of my stitches. And at the bottom, what it looks like when I work through just the outside loops of my stitches. I get these beautiful ridges around the seam. And when you work the seam in a like color, it mostly disappears. Last is the flat slip stitch seam. We're going to begin with a slip knot on our hook and we'll be working through just the inside loops of our stitches. Insert your hook into the inside loop of the corner stitch on the right square. Keeping the working yarn in the middle of our two squares, I'm going to find the same stitch and that inside loop on my left square. I'll now yarn over, pull through all the loops on my hook gently and loosely for a slip stitch. Then I'll find my next stitch on my right square, just the inside loop, inserting from front to back, and finding the same stitch on my left square, keeping my working yarn in the middle of my squares, and completing the slip stitch. It's imperative to make sure that your slip stitch seam is worked loosely, I'm using the same size hook as I use to make my squares, but if you're concerned about your tension, go up a half or even a full hook size. Repeat this down the length of your seam. And we can't end this video without our cup of caffeine sponsor, and that person is Heidi. When donating, Heidi said, I have been following you on Instagram for a while, and I love your use of color in crochet. I'm loving Crochet Academy and learning new tips, even though I've been crocheting for a few years now. You are a godsend. Thank you. And thank you, Heidi, so much for supporting my video. If you like my content and want to support my channel, buy me a coffee. Who knows, I might shout you out in my next video. And you can also find a link to this Crochets Bay mug down in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.